Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers because here's the thing, guys. They keep winning football games, all right? I'm seeing so much disrespect out there about this team right now. I don't think it is granted because at the end of the day, they are 4-2, and two, and they're taking down some good teams like the Baltimore Ravens, the Cleveland Browns, but people are just saying, oh, the defense, the defense is bailing them out. They'd be 3-3 three and three without the defense. They'd be 2-4 and four without the defense, blah, 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 blah. Cry me a river. There's always a but. Now, I will say, I will admit it, you know, a particular example with the offense, they've now played 54 straight games under 400 yards. Here's the thing, though. Kenny Pickett, the Pittsburgh Steelers offense, when they need to, they are making plays. Specific, we know the defense make plays. That defense, we, we said it all offseason. We've said it all season. They're going to keep you in every single football game you play. Here's the thing. Here's some fun facts for non-Kenny Pickett or non-Steelers enthusiasts. Kenny Pickett, five fourth quarter comebacks, all right? Six game-winning drives in 18 starts. In the fourth quarter this season, Mr. Kenny Pickett has a 103 passer rating. So, yes, some of these wins are ugly, but hey, what do great teams do? They win ugly. They're not always on their A game. And guys, this Pittsburgh Steelers defense is so the truth. They're so much the truth. They're that elite. They're that good. We've seen it. We saw it on paper. We've seen it with, the, with our eyes. Guys, the Pittsburgh Steelers are so much better than people are giving them credit for. And it's because of stats that I don't like, I will admit. 54 games under 400 yards in a row. I don't know how that stat exists, but we're going to dive into it in tonight's video. But before we do, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. We do post a ton of Steelers videos all the time. Steelers fans, I love you guys so much. If you can try and get this video to 250 likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. So in the first half of six games this season, Kenny Pickett has completed 33 of 60 attempts for a completion percentage of 55 percent only 620 yards with three touchdowns and three interceptions all right his passer rating in the first half is 65 all right in that time in the first half the Steelers offense has produced only three touchdowns now here's the thing they make adjustments Kenny Pickett the offense guys are making plays all right after halftime Kenny Pickett has completed 68.8% of his passes for 749 yards. That is almost, that's more than double. That's actually a lot more, not a lot more than double, but it's double. Two touchdowns and just one interception. But more importantly, his passer rating in the second half this season is 96.9. In that time, the Steelers have scored five offensive touchdowns. So yes, it's been a tale of two halves, but guys, it's okay. Would you rather start slow and really get that momentum, get that high-powered offense that we know this team is capable of in the second half, or would you rather start off hot, start off sizzling, 6-0, and 400-yard games back to back to back to back, and then you lose the next, you lose your final four games of the season, and you score 200, or you have 250 yards per game in those final four games. I'd rather start slow and finish high than vice versa. But here's the thing. Here's the kicker. The Pittsburgh Steelers are 4-2. and two. I mean, they're 4-2. and two. This is a top 10 team in the National Football League, whether you like it or not. Their defense. Here's just like a fun fact. If you look at like defensive rating, the Pittsburgh Steelers are 17. Here's the thing. The Pittsburgh Steelers don't have the ball much because in the first half, they can't establish an offense. Whether it's first down efficiency, whether it's third down efficiency, it's especially third down efficiency, they have not been able to get the job done but they have been able to get the job done in the second half. You can't teach clutch genes. You can't teach it. Kenny Pickett has the instincts. He has the capability. He has the talent to win these types of football games and to show up clutch when they need clutch. And at the end of the day, man, that's all that I care about. Wins are wins. They're literally wins. Now, <sighs> Najee Harris, mainly the Pittsburgh Steelers rushing attack, they are not doing good, guys. They're averaging 81 yards per game running the football. That's good for 28th in the league. We look at Najee Harris. He's averaging three point. Both Warren and Harris are averaging 3.9 yards per carry. That's when we need to get into scheming, right? That's when we need Matt Canada to start to throw in some versatility, right? We don't want a predictable offense. If I'm going to run the ball every time on first down for three yards, 
that's going to make second down, that's going to make third down a lot more difficult. My first down play needs to get yards, right? I want If I'm going to have a third down, because you're going to have third downs, I want it to be third and two. I want it to be third and one, third and short. I'm sick of third and eights, third and sevens. And then we need Kenny Pickett to make a throw. We need guys like George Pickens to catch a ball and make a play. I don't want to make it any harder than it needs to be. So yes, 100%, 54 games under 400 yards is embarrassing. It's absolutely embarrassing. But getting guys like Deontay Johnson back are absolutely huge. And this is something that we talked about in our last Steelers video it lets guys be themselves. And I'm talking about players like Allen Robinson. I'm talking about George Pickens not being double teamed and triple teamed every time in the fourth quarter when it, Deontay's out, Pat's out. Who are they going to throw to? Allen Robinson, Calvin Austin the third. Damn, there's no DJ out there. The health, the simple health and presence of Deontay Johnson, you can think he's overrated. You can think he's underrated. It doesn't matter. That is just huge. And it's going to complement not only George Pickens, but specifically your more depth pieces. Wide receiver three and Allen Robinson. Calvin Austin the third. Now I can get Calvin Austin the third the opportunities that make sense. Instead of force feeding the ball, force feeding the deep balls, which we've seen some. It just lets these guys be themselves. It just complement everybody. I just want a complimentary offense. Deontay Johnson coming back healthy helps that a lot. Now, Pat Fryermuth, that's a different story. He's on the IR right now. But the point still stands, man. The Pittsburgh Steelers are a good football team. This defense, guys, eyes don't lie. What do you see from Kenny Pickett in the fourth quarter? We see poise. We see control. We see understanding the game, understanding what I don't need to do more or doing what I need to do, throwing the ball where I need to throw it. But more importantly, not making mistakes, not throwing interceptions, just one interception in the second half by Kenny Pickett, 24 to 17 victory on the road. I'm going to take, and it's not even like Kenny Pickett had a bad football game, 17 to 25, 230 yards and a rushing touchdown. Sometimes you got to win ugly. That's just football. That's just sports. Sometimes you have to win ugly. But what keeps me hopeful are, first off, my two eyeballs watching this defense dominate any team that they play on a week-to-week -week basis. But it's also the five fourth-quarter comebacks. It's the six game-winning drives and 18 starts. It's the 103 passer rating in the fourth quarter. These are why I still fully believe the Pittsburgh Steelers will win 10 plus games. They will get into the playoffs. I still think they're going to win a playoff game. The point is be patient. One third of the way through the season, the Pittsburgh Steelers, even though you have one of the statistical worst offenses in the league, the 28th ranked offense, you're four and two. And every Steelers fan I know is going to take that. Any NFL fan I know would take a four and two record. All right. That's it for tonight. That's it for the rant of the day. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for more. But more importantly, let me know what you guys are thinking about this Pittsburgh Steelers offense down below.